I'm doing this as a what's up, y'all, because I do no longer have Instagram um, live, so I can't do this as a stories, because if I would, I could. If I could, I would. Uh, so, there's a dead thing in my office, cottage, garage, um, and I must go handle it. Now, let me be clear. I, Me and dead things have been battling all year. I'm clear the universe is like, we're going to make you get um, comfortable with death and the natural decaying nature of the world and your spiritual journey as it relates to the atrophying nature of the world. And so we will present you with dead birds and dead rats all the time throughout 2021. Just that's what you'll be dealing with. And then you'll have to deal with all your deep psychological trauma related to them. So I've been, this is an ongoing lesson, but apparently it's about to wrap up for eclipses for the final eclipse of 2021. So yesterday I discovered my dog sniffed a thing and I was like, it's a dead thing. And he happily moved away from it, which is rare because normally what he does is he puts it in his mouth and carries it to play with. Now, the rats here are poisoned because I have rat poison on my property. And so it's not good for him to put those things in his mouth. And he's done a good job. Like we've been, we have keep a much closer eye on him. Me, we being me and God, <laughs> keep a much closer eye on Baldwin now so that he doesn't have a chance to be messing around with rodentia. But he sniffed this one yesterday and that's how it alerted, alerted me. That it was there because there was a car parked over it before, so I didn't see it. So, historically, the first time he did this, I freaked out. I ran in the house. I hurt myself getting in the house. I had a whole full-on panic attack. It was awful. The second time, I had a whole friend in the middle of a lockdown come to my property and talk to me behind glass and deal with it. The third time it happened, I had my, well, the second, first and the third time that it happened, I have a handyman that I call who charges me 100 bucks to remove did rodentia and yesterday was the first time i saw it i didn't freak out i, w I didn't look at it look at it but i was like mm, it's close enough for me to be pretty sure that that's probably what it is and i was like all right i could call the guy i could or i could just go handle this shit so i'm gonna go handle it i got a tea towel i'm gonna throw over its little body and then I have a shovel and then I have a brown paper bag and then I have a garbage bag and as I thought about the fact that I was going to go handle this I was like yo I feel like Kevin Hart in true story <laughs> right now I feel like Kevin Hart in true story <laughs> I just started watching that show yesterday and I was like yo I'm gonna have to be in here <laughs> getting rid of bodies so I'm finna get rid of a body today uh, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna let you all know how it goes but I just want you to know this may be the bravest shit I've ever done in my life and I know that I tell my life on the internet and I write books about very intense things and I do videos with boogers in my nose and going and removing this dead rat from my own property and throw and disposing of it. It may be the bravest thing I've ever done in my adult life. And I've done some brave, 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 brave shit. But this right here for me might be it. I'll come back and let you know how it went.